Baki Rohan Chapter 18 called First Times. And the cover art is actually a picture of Jack. You don't see a lot of that in the manga. It's mostly just, let me guess, Baki? But this is a good change, seeing that this whole chapter is like Jack-centric. Continuing from where we left off from the last chapter, 17, the Hanma family dinner between father and son, Jack and Yujiro, just like Baki and Yujiro had in the father-son arc. It's literally the same setting, the same place. They're sitting the same way Baki and Yujiro sat at that time. Such nostalgia is what I'm getting, is what I've been getting since the last chapter. Shall we begin with your drinks? Uh, just a water for me. Of course, sir. One mineral water. Jack's confused by what he means by mineral water. But then Yudro clarifies that they don't serve tap water here, which is what Jack usually drinks. Oh, um, mineral water's fine. Of course, sir. Would you like still or sparkling? Hey, does that seem like an appropriate question for someone who just tried to order tap water? But yeah, Yudro is right. Jack doesn't... Jack's like Jack is kind of like a basic guy like when it comes to drinking or eating it's kind of basic kind of where like he's not drinking a specific type of water because of, of certain benefits like water is to him water is water so he's not going to really care enough to choose a different to have a different preference on a type of water I beg your pardon sir Two glasses of dry sherry will do. Large glasses. Of course, sir. And, of course, this dry sherry was the same drink that Yujiro drank in the father-son fight dinner. Like, there are a lot of parallels in this chapter already. And as the two men get their drinks, Yujiro raises his cup as to cheers with his son. And Jack is still flustered. Oh, uh, cheers. They drink their dry sherry. And matter of fact, Jack actually chugs his entire drink in like, in, in an instant. Who just chugs sherry like that? And as Jack consumes all the sherry, there's a lot more sweat rolling from his face now. Because... The dry sherry was delicious, very, very delicious. Jack loved how it tastes. Oh, calm down. It's not like it's your first sherry. It was. Really, that was my first ever toast. I really do wish we got to, like, have an idea of what Yudro was thinking after Jack said that. But anyways, the, the dinner continues, which where the food is finally brought out. Your fish carpaccio, sirs. Prepare today with striped beak fish from Saruga Bay, with basmic sauce flavored with rum, wakame, and tomatoes. And all these culinary terms that Jack is hearing just confuses him even more. It just sounds distorted to him. But he sees the resemblance to uh, the fish, the fish caprachio to another food that he knows. It's sashimi. He tastes it. And what's he thinking? He thinks it's delicious. This, this is fish? It's melting in my mouth. Yudro takes a bite too. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that, oh, of course, he goes out to restaurants. And like eats, eats their food, orders food and eats it there. But those foods, those dishes, meals are not as tasty as the ones in this restaurant. Because I would think this is the best restaurant in Tokyo. If Yudro goes here, it is the best restaurant. Heh. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but when it comes to using a knife and fork, you're far better than Baki. N no, it's just... I was born in Canada, so 
Look at Jack, he's shaking. He can't remain calm. He said it. He said it clear as day. That I'm far better than Baki. Yeah, in using a fork and knife. But at this point, I'm pretty sure Jack would just get, like, take any compliment that he could get. No matter how small it is, it still goes a long way to him. The white wine you ordered from Chablis, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but even though, like, Jack is pretty good with a knife and fork, as Yudro stated, Yudro said, but the way you drink is horrible. It's horrible because he drinks it too fast. He doesn't savor the taste. Oh, but he has manners. Jack does have manners. Pardon me for my manners. Next dish, sea turtle soup flavored with curry. The taste shocks Jack. Amazing. As we have an illustration of sea creatures. And this illustration is just goes to show how much Jack adores this soup. With just a single sip, my mind is flooded with an ocean of different ingredients. That's how it feels. Look at his face, he's amazed. Quite a taste, isn't it? I don't have the words to describe it. Another dish, lobster steamed in champagne, served with sauce americane. Jack tastes, more sweats. It's too much to bear, too much. Each meal. Um, I'm probably not supposed to eat this with my hands, right? This is a private room. Just don't do it in public. He's chomping the food with his hands like an animal, like a beast. He's chomping the food un with like ungentlemanlike, but it's a private room. His father allows it. He just enjoys the food so, so, so much. That he cannot just leave it, like he cannot limit himself to just fork and knives. He has to crick, crunch, slurp, dig in, because it's too good. Shush, 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 butler. Don't let this word get out. This is a secret between us. This is my son, and he's enjoying the food. Let him eat in peace, okay? Is what he's probably showing. It's what he's probably trying to say. But this, the last page really, the last page is concerning. Because it says, will this, will this night end peacefully? And we get like a full view of the, the building where Jack and Yujiro are eating their, their meal. If the narration is saying something in that tone, this night is n probably not going to end peacefully. It's probably going to end similar to Baki and Yujiro's fight. And... If that is the case, I hope Jack brought a parachute because I don't see any cars down here for a uh, soft landing. But I'm not sure if I would want, like, this dinner to come to that. It's been so wholesome and peaceful and heartwarming. But we will see what's the outcome in the next chapter. The strong is the beautiful.